Wow, this place is really cool, Mahmood. It's like ear bloodening sounds had sex with nose bloodening smells, and this is their baby. I am glad you are enjoying yourself. Would you like some of my meat fushnush? It's a chicken that has been yelled at for two hours and then run over by a Mercedes. Mm. Mm. Oh, you can really taste the fear in the chicken. You know, Peter, a lot of people are not as accepting of Muslim culture as you are. Well, I think everything about it is the best, like this hookah. I mean, who doesn't want to sit around the table with a bunch of guys and suck on the same thing? Hmm, <sighs> it's like smoking my grandfather's jacket. Man, I wish I could stay here all night, Mahmood. But I'm supposed to pick up the dry cleaner before it closes. I killed a mouse with my tie. Nonsense. I'll have my wife pick it up for you. What? She'd do that? Oh, absolutely. I need you to run an errand for my friend Peter. Of course. Anything for you, husband. That was amazing. She just listened to everything you said. Of course she listened. In Muslim culture, wives are much more obedient. No way, that's awesome! So wait, let me get this straight. Sweet hat, obedient wife, and I get to shout, Admiral Akbar! When I do stuff, you, sir, have got yourself a Muslim. <laughs> Now, where are you going, and why are you dressed like that? Well, Lois, I happen to be a Muslim now, which means I'll be spending a lot of my time in mostly empty cafes, watching soccer on an eight-inch black-and-white TV. Yes, the team I like is kicking it. Oh, no, the team I don't like is kicking it. Yes, the team I like is kicking it again. I will celebrate with finger symbols. Hey, is that for real, that, that diarrhea-only sign on your bathroom? <laughs>